I want to talk about something that, that I believe it's coming up. You're finally, you're releasing your first special. So why'd you finally, dis- and you've been doing comedy for a while, I should mention. So why'd you finally decide to release your first special now? Well, actually somebody came, I, I, I had two people come to me and told me that they just want to sponsor my, my special mm-hmm. because it, it costs money to do stuff like that, to have a good special. You know, you can do it on your phone, but it's not going to go nowhere. But if you want people yeah. like networks to pick it up, you want it done professionally. So the lady, Aisha, shout out to Aisha. She came up to me. She was like, hey, well, I did something for her. And she was like, hey, you know what? I'm going, I want to do your special for you. I like for a friend. I uh-huh. like, bitch, let's go. So, yeah. <laughs> so that, that's, how, that's how it happened. I just thank God. I just think it was time. I've been doing comedy seven years now so it's it was just yeah. time yeah it's just time well <laughs> that, that it seems like you really like to act i mean you have that character and i've seen other videos you posted of you doing some other acting roles so are you really interested in acting as well yes i am i really want my own tv show oh, okay to be honest with you i really want my tv show that's why i want to do this special and i want somebody to see it and see that, see that what I see in me, and hmm. and, and come up with. I already got the TV show and everything. I already wrote some scripts and everything okay. for the TV show. Mm-hmm. What's I the, got two TV shows. Are you able to share like some information about the well, shows? Well, since I used to work in corporate America, and I act the way I act, talk how I talk, and I really had a job for Avis Avis Car Rental in the corporate corporate part of it, mm-hmm. and I was real who I am now, talk how I talk and stuff like that. And I was their neighbor. And I had a lot of kids, which I still do, and different daddies. And I used to drop my, it was, man, it's, it's, I dropped my kids off over there with them while they on their little adventures and stand, they were staying yeah. together. It's, it's fun. That's one. And I got another one I was saying since I just got married. Mm-hmm. I said I want to um, write on um, because, you know, my husband, he a preacher child, right? Okay. So his family, I ain't nothing like what his family expected me to be. I'm who I am, right? Yeah. I'm I'm Erica. Yeah. And they like looking at me crazy, but they don't understand like why he probably would have married somebody with but I do gotta get hard and stuff yeah. like that. But it's just gonna be like series of showing how I act you yeah. know. Shit I know people gonna watch. who are some people you have in mind to be in your shows? Like on uh, on my like TV show, actors, actresses, like who would you like to have on your shows? Oh man, you know what? I I love um Adam Sandler. Oh, okay. I love man, I love Adam. It gotta be Adam Sandler. Um, I want Jada Pickett. Okay. I want, um, yeah, I want Jada Pickett. Um, who else? I said I'm gonna have just like in now randomly but those are the only two people that i had so far like adam Sadler. i really want him to help me write this shit up to be honest you know that's that's an interesting combo i would love to see and like adam sandler and you know i don't think she gets as much credit as she should but jada pinkett is a pretty good actress like especially her older movies like if she i and this is my personal perspective but like she could have really blown up like with her acting skills. She could have. She, yeah. you know, she kind of lay back and let her yeah. husband do his thing. Well, speaking of Jada Pinkett Smith, I, I mean, she was in the movie Set It Off, which I know is actually one of your favorite movies. So why is that? A yeah. Oh, you really did your research. How do you know that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> let me find out, Joe. <laughs> boy, don't be fine. Don't be. Boy, don't do that, Joe. <laughs> Don't do that. Oh, shit now. But yeah, that is my favorite movie right now. It is. So I really want to redo that. I really wish okay. I could do that. And they had a play. I auditioned for the play, but I didn't get it. Oh, man. I didn't, That would make a good play. They did. They had a play on oh, the man. brat, the rapper she was in. And she was Cleo. Oh, okay. That's uh, Queen Latifah's character, right? Yes, okay. yes. And they had some more actresses. I don't know. Who oh, wow. Were. I wanted to be um, 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 Vivica Fox. Okay. 
yeah, I auditioned for that part. Yeah, yeah. I can see you in that role. Yeah, man. Oh, man, I could have did way better than her. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But I let them have that little bit, but because they don't know yet, but they yeah, don't wish they, they would have put me in there. They don't know yet. Yeah, yeah. When you come out with that special, they'll, they'll know. They gonna know. Yeah, they gonna know. <laughs> and something really uh, cool, or I want to say really nice that you did an event that you were trying to start and I guess it was you know before COVID that you were trying to do like an annual event with this called Teens to Queens Brunch so do you mind explaining what that event was about okay so Teens to Queens came about okay first you know I, you know I'm a comedian mm-hmm. but after my shows I, I always have people people in my DM a lot of women be in my DM they always reaching out to me, asking me for advice, asking me to help them with this, just just talking to them. Mm-hmm. So I was like, Lord, what do all this mean? So that just let me know right there, comedy is deeper than comedy. Yeah, My gift is going to show me my purpose. So, and I always tell people that my gift is going to show me my purpose. So I say, okay, Lord, what does you want me to do? I thought I just supposed to be telling jokes. But yeah. then he told me that he wanted me to do this this event right here that's help that is it's to help women motivate women encourage encourage women all about women so i said i'm gonna do it so i just went one day i got I picked out a date and i was like well i need a name it took me three days to come up with the name because it was just gonna be for women but i say mm-hmm. so many teenage girls going through shit because they don't have nobody just to talk to yeah and i had to think about myself i had somebody just to tell me something you know, at 14, 15 years old, it's, it, it's no telling what it would have helped me out with today. Yeah. So I said, okay, I'm going to do from teens to queens. And that's how I did it. So I did it. I did, I think it was August 10th. I did a whole event by myself in probably a month time. I put I put all my money into it. Got uh-huh. the, um, had some people reach out to me to decorate, to sponsor some things and food, which that was a blessing. But I did it. I got some high end people like this um, lady. She a poet, and she was a poet. Her name is um, Teresa, Teresa the Sunbird. But she um, she she did a poem for the Essence Awards also. So she bit time. She did it for me for free. Mm. I had a lot of pastors, like women ministers, come get a testimony. I had people just come and get a testimony. So it was it was a great event, and I, I gotta I want to do it again this year for my annual. I had it missed last year. Yeah. Hopefully, COVID be gone. Yeah. Well, I mean, continuing on about the event, I'm curious of where do you see it going in maybe like five or ten years? Well, with Teens of Queen, what I really the future that I see in that as well. I just, I wanted to get big. I be seeing a lot of people do a lot of these seminars and stuff with women, but yeah. they be. But they be doing it all for the wrong reason. They do it for money and, and shit like that. I don't really want no money out of this, but I do be needing like the $20 I add for the brunch because the food do be kind of expensive. Yeah, yeah. But I just want to see it grow into something that's going to just some type of woman empowerment. Like yeah. it's something I want somebody to come tell me, like it can be one person. They'd be like, girl, I went to your event and it changed my life. Oh, uh, yeah. I just wanted to eva- I wanted to, yeah, I wanted to elevate to something like that. Just something big. And and then I helped kids. That year I helped kids. I gave back on um, I gave book bags away on uh, all school supplies. Just whatever direction it is to help women. Yeah. That's what I want. Uh well, besides the special coming out, what's your plans for this year? This year, I just wanna. My special, I'm, I'm praying that my, my my special get picked up. Netflix to be specific. You know, you got to be specific what you want. I want Netflix to pick it up. And I just want to do shows, 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 shows. Then I want somebody to come with me with, with um, um, and say, well, we would like to have you in a TV show. Mm-hmm. We want to do a movie with you. I want to do movies. I want somebody to be like, well, I can see you with your own own show like you know how monique did her thing then they yeah. gave her, her own tv show the parkers yeah i want some shit like i want some shit okay. like that. 
Mm-hmm. I, I can see that happening for you. Can you see it? Oh, yeah, I can let's, see that. Let's happening. go, Joe. Let's go. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I mean, I'm not much of an actor, but you got to you got to give me a small part. Just I don't I need a speaking role. I just yeah. Oh yeah, cuz you know you can be the you know the white guy to come in, you know. 